Hatha yogis. So today's practice is Hatha. We're going to have a nice twist and detox. I feel sure that many of us have overindulged over the holiday period and today's practice we're just going to work off a little bit of that overindulgence. So lots of twists we're going to have today. Work at your own pace. You will need a yoga mat. And we're going to start by seated on our mat straight away. So just sit down on your mat and have your legs crossed. I'm just going to turn to face the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to lengthen up through the spine. So nice straight spine, shoulders down by the ears. Draw the navel in softly towards the spine. And then bring your arms out into what we call warrior arms. Angels have gone at the moment, but into warrior arms. So take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then inhale to the left, exhale to the right. And we just start that nice twisting. It's called a Kriya, and we're really getting into the belly. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just feel what's happening in the belly. And then we can keep it nice and slow, or if we're enjoying the movement and it feels good to us, we can speed it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you can go slow, or you can go as fast as you like. Just building up some fire in the belly. In yoga it's called Agni, not Agni, it's called Agni, A-G-N-I, Agni. Fire in the belly, we're just building up that fire in the belly. Nice, easy breathing, couple more and then we'll stop here. And you now may feel a little bit lightheaded, that's perfectly natural. So we're just gonna soften here for a little while, just focus on the breath. And once that lightheadedness has disappeared, we'll start to move again. So nice long legs now. Really long legs, toes are up. Shoulders are down, spine is straight, navel drawing towards the spine. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, take your hands over to one side, lengthen up through the spine, and on the exhale, let's twist. So push the heels away, lengthen through the spine, and twist. Remember that the twist is coming from the lower back, through the upper back thoracic, into the neck, into the shoulders, and then we come back to the center. Toes are up, and we just simply take the twist the opposite direction. Inhale, lengthen up. And on the exhale, we'll twist. Really rotating slowly through the lower back, upper back, shoulders, and finally the neck. And we push down through the hamstrings, and the toes are facing to the ceiling. And then we come back to the center. Take an inhale, and on the exhale. So taking your right leg across the left now, and we draw on that knee to lengthen up through the spine. And then we, same knee, same side twist. Take an inhale on the exhale, twist. So again, we do it slowly, lower back, upper back, shoulders, and the neck. So we get the full stretch in the spine, the toes on the floor, are anchored to the floor, and the long leg toes are facing to the ceiling, and we continue that rotation. And then slowly we come back, opposite leg, draw it in, lengthen through the spine by pulling on the knee, and then we take that twist with full awareness, inhale, lengthen, 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 exhale, slow twist, lower back, upper back, shoulders, and finally the neck. Keep the spine long, and then slowly back to nice long legs. So we're now going to come on to all fours. So into all fours. And the hands are underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. So I'm going to take the right arm all the way up to the ceiling. And then we're going to thread it through the hand and arm on the mat and twist. So your buttocks are going to stay high. And you're going to walk that right hand a little bit further away. Now you can really feel what's happening in the belly, so draw the navel softly back to the spine. And if it feels appropriate, the left arm can come up and it can wrap right around your back. 
Take an inhale and on the exhale we'll twist a little bit more. Keep moving up the spine a little bit, into the shoulders. And then back, all hands on mat, brings us back to all fours. And then we'll take the opposite arm all the way up, stretch it up, thread it through either needle, lay the shoulder down, walk the hand further away from the body, either stay here or lift up, wrap it round, take an inhale, on the exhale twist that a little bit more, navel to spine, and then slowly the right arm comes up, we arrive back into all fours, nice easy breathing. We're going to come into cat cow, so it's a nice little flow, we're going to inhale the gaze up and the buttocks up, this is the back bend, on the exhale we'll round the back and stretch back and gaze to the navel, and we'll just flow into back bends and back stretches. We'll do two more. And then this is the last one. And then we'll come back into child posture. So walking your buttocks back, arms along. Keep the knees together. Super long arms, take them out. Remember, props are available. You can use your hands as props if you want to, or cushions if you've got them, blocks if you've got them underneath the forehead. Nice stretch of the arm, but remember that stretch, we're going to meet it again in downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale walk all the way to your right. And then bow. All the way back to the centre, long arms, armpit stretch, take your bow. And then we walk in the opposite direction again, really enjoying this twist and stretch at the same time. And then slowly back to our child posture. Now remembering that armpit stretch, find it again, anchor your hands to the mat. Spread the fingers, come onto your knees, tuck your toes, lift your knees and exhale, we're in down facing dog. Now the hamstrings haven't been worked, let's work them. So bend the knees and then straighten the legs and draw the heels down. Bend the knees, hover, straighten the legs, draw the heels down. Bend the knees, hover, straighten the legs and draw the heels down. One more, bend the knees, hover, straighten the legs and draw the heels down. So if you have hamstring issues, you may want to keep those knees bent in order for you to have your spine long. It's better to have the knees bent and have the spine long. No hamstring issues, we draw the heels towards the mat. We keep the head hanging in between the upper arms and then we bring our attention to the belly again. So draw the navel back towards the spine, just softly, just being aware of the belly again. One more breath. And exhale, dog. We're going to come into half plank. Inhale into your plank. Knees down. Lift the ankles, we're in half plank. That's one option, the other option is a full plank. Back to down dog, if you're coming with me. A half plank, whatever you want. So full plank, working into the belly. So we inhale into the plank. Now push the heels away as soon as you arrive. Draw the navel to the spine, squeeze the buttocks. Let's have strong legs, front thigh meets back thigh. And exhale back to dog. Remember, you can pop yourself into half plank if you want to. We're going to do two more. Real focus now on the plank. Inhale, push the heels away. Squeeze butts. Navel to spine. Gaze is at the mat. Back to down 
facing dog on an exhale. One more, inhale into your plank, push the heels away, squeeze the butt, navel the spine, gaze at the mat, fingers are spread, and exhale back to down facing dog. Next time we go into plank, we just lay our bellies down on the mat. Bring your hands underneath your forehead and we reconnect with the breath. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We don't want the elbows sticking out. We want to draw them in towards the ribs. Feel what's happening in the shoulders when we draw those elbows towards the ribs. The hands are right underneath your shoulders, just in line with your chest as well. We're gonna rise up without pushing through the hands. We're gonna rise up with the head and the chest. Cobra. And exhale down. We rise up. Head and chest, bend gentle through the hands. The elbows will probably be bent. Exhale, release. And then one more. Inhale, lift you up. And exhale, release. We're going to take that to a curious cobra. So cobra's going to take a twist and look behind it. So inhale up into cobra. On the exhale, twist to look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to the center and exhale to the earth. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to the center and exhale to the earth. So hands are under these shoulders. Elbows are in. We're going to rise up through that cobra all the way up. And this time I'm going to straighten the arms. Feel the stretch in the belly. Really feel that stretch in the belly. And then onto the knees and all the way back into child posture. We're coming up into all fours. We're going to reach behind us for our right foot, bring it forward. The knee is tracking over the ankle and the back toe tucks to bring that knee a bit closer underneath that back hip. We're going to inhale all the way up and exhale the shoulders away from the ears. So inhale the arms all the way up and exhale down. Inhale all the way up and exhale down. If you have problems with this knee, pop a little cushion underneath it which will give you a little bit more comfort. Inhale lift and exhale down. The last one, inhale lift and exhale down. So it's really getting into the abdominals. We're going to take this to a back bend if you want to. So inhale, lift and take an exhale here. The back toe is tucked for stability. Inhale, exhale, and if you want to, inhale, lean back as if you're rolling over a barrel. Feel the stretch of the belly. And then coming back to the center, take an exhale. So take your left hand onto the mat. And take your right arm all the way up to the ceiling. If you want to, the back toe is tucked. We'll lift the back and we'll push the back heel away. And we'll have the twisting lunge. Nice, easy breathing. Back knee can be down. Back knee can be up. But push the heel away if it's up. Really activate the back glute. And then release back down again. And change sides. Back toe is tucked, so the knee is just underneath the hip. And we rise up, and we soften the shoulders, and we go again, same flow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This is the last one, inhale, and exhale. Either stay here, maybe you can have cushions under that supporting knee, or we're going to that back end. Inhale, lift up. Take an exhale. Back toe is tucked for stability. Inhale, preparing. Exhale. On the next inhale, we lift up the heart. Find the 
stretching the belly. Nice, easy breathing. Find the back bend. Take an inhale and exhale. Back to the earth. The right hand's now on the mat and the left arm rises up. And we either stay here or that back toe is tucked. We lift it up, we push the heel away and we really activate into that back glute as well. Nice, easy breathing. And then release down. And we'll arrive back in child posture. Check out our breath. Now we're coming up to standing. So if you want to just walk to a standing position, or come with me through a downward facing dog. Super long arms. Onto the knees. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Exhale, down facing dog. And then we'll just simply take a walk forward, bend the knees, engage the core, inhale, we rise all the way up, and exhale back. So I'm going to take one of my favourite postures, Utkatasana, but we're going to take it also to a twist. So we know that Utkatasana is just sitting in an imaginary chair and it works all your internal organs, all the muscles and joints of your body. You can have your feet separated or your feet together. Back issues, you may want to keep your arms quite low, no back issues. Up they go, inhaling. And exhaling, take a seat. So draw the navel to the spine. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can bring your hands into prayer and you can even come onto tippy toes. But it's entirely up to you. Couple more breaths. Tailbone down, heart lifting. Navel softly draws back to the spine. Full awareness of your yoga, your breath. It's happening with the mind. Inhale lifts you up. And exhale down. So that one makes you feel a little bit breathless, which is quite good. It's really working with the belly as well. So we're now going to take that same movement to a twist. So the arms are forward now in prayer, but keep them low. Take an inhale here and exhale, take a seat. And then bring your left elbow to your right knee. Take an inhale and on the exhale we'll twist. So now we're twisting towards the right shoulder. Nice easy breathing. Inhale back to the centre, take an exhale here. And then inhale, rise up. And exhale back. To Tadasana. Arms long. Focus, take an inhale. Exhale, take your seat. Opposite elbow. Take an inhale. Exhale is the twist. You always twist on the exhale. You're following your breath. Inhale back to the centre. Take an exhale, and inhale, rise up, and exhale back to Tadasana. So again, breath needs to be aware now. Yoga is a beautiful practice, but we need to keep our focus on the breath, as well as what we're activating, muscles and joints as well. So I'm just going to take that twist into the shoulders a little bit. Same movement with the hips. Arms forward, let's take the seat. We're looking at our right thumb, take an inhale, exhale, twist. So just seeing what's on the horizon behind you. Inhale back to the center, take an exhale, and inhale, lift. And exhale. Same flow. Arms forward, let's take that seat. We're looking at the left thumb, take an inhale. And exhale, take your twist. Looking at the horizon behind you. Inhale back to the centre. Take an exhale. And inhale, rise up. And exhale. Good work. So we are going to do some more twisting. But I'm going to have you in forward bends for twisting. So if you have back issues, you may want to do some of these postures with your hand on the wall or skip them completely. Serious back issues, 
you may need to skip the forward bends. But no back issues. Then we're going, I'm going to turn my back on you so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to open the legs nice and wide. And when we do our forward bends, we want to flex from these hip joints. We don't want to wait work into the spine. So we're going to flex from these hip joints and come forward to a half forward bow. And gaze at the mat. Now you may have to bend your knees, bend your knees. And bring your hands to either blocks or to the earth. And then we start to straighten the legs if it feels appropriate. And no back issues, take your bow. So when you're in this position, you can actually see your kneecaps. So I want you to lift up your kneecaps to activate the quadriceps, which are your opposing muscle groups to the hamstrings. When we lift the kneecaps and connect with the quadriceps, we open the hamstring a lot safer and a lot easier. Take a bow. And then spinal extension, look forward, lengthen, keep those quadriceps engaged, exhale, taking your bow, inhale, lengthen through the spine, looking forward, and exhale, taking your bow. I'm going to take that to a twist. So spinal extension, look forward. So take your right hand to your left ankle and grip it tightly. You can bend your knees if you need to. And then we lift that left arm up and we twist. That's easy breathing. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, take your bow. Spinal extension, look forward. And then the left hand grips the right ankle and we lift the right arm all the way up and we twist. And then exhale, take a bow again. Spinal extension, lengthen, look forward. Those who want to challenge a little bit, walk your feet another inch out. And exhale, take it deeper. Nice, easy breathing. And then onto your fingertips, spinal extension, bending your knees, hands onto the hips, and we rise back to the front of our mats. And again, we focus on our breath. Nice, easy breathing. And then we're just going to do our little Trikonasana, and we're going to do a twist in Trikonasana as well. So nice wide legs. You're going to turn your right foot out and your left foot in. You can have it with both feet facing forward if it feels more appropriate to you. Both legs stay straight. I'm going to have to stretch in this spine. You're going to rise up and take our Trikonasana. So you may be up on the thigh, that's great. You may slide down to a calf. You may down towards the ankle. Wherever you are, you're not in a forward bend, you're in a side bend. So you want to feel it here, not here. So if you come down too far, you're hanging into a forward bend. We want a side bend, we've done forward bends. So lift up, open up. Maybe stay here on the thigh. Once you're here, you can start to be aware of the side and flow down a little bit more. Nice, easy breathing. And then slowly we'll rise all the way up. And we're just going to bring that back foot closer in now. I'm going to turn to that right foot. I'm going to take one hand to the buttock, and the opposite hand to the foot goes up. We lengthen, we stretch, and we twist, maybe on the thigh, maybe on the ankle, maybe on the floor. And if you want to, we take the opposite arm up and we twist deeper. We bend the knee, we come all the way back to the centre and back to our initial posture. Same movement. So, the left foot 
his hand, the back foot turns in. Remember both feet can be facing forward if it feels more appropriate for you. Both legs are straight. Inhale up. Exhale. Trikonasana. Remember it's not a forward bend, this shoulder comes back. You want to feel it in the side. We may be here. We may be down here. We may go further. But we still maintain the integrity of that side bend. Couple more breaths. Suck a bend of the front knee brings you back. Bring the back foot in. The opposite arm to the foot rises up. We stretch and lengthen. And then we bring the hand either to the thigh, to the ankle, to the floor. We can leave that back hand on that buttock or we can twist and lift up. Revolving trikonasana. And then bend the knee by coming back to the front of the mats. So enough of the standing postures now. We're coming back to the floor. So inhale, rising all the way up. Bend the knees, one dive. Right leg back, left leg back, down facing dog. Pop in a plank if you want to. Knees down, belly down. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows draw in, rising through the cobra, onto the knees, and we come up into a long-legged seated posture. So the toes are up, the legs are strong. We're going to bring the left foot in. And then the opposite leg, we're going to pop it on the floor, grab hold of the foot, and lift it up. Some of you are lifted up high. Some of you are lifted up low. Nice, easy breathing. So if you have your leg straight, we're gonna hold on to it with the left hand. This is the right leg, this is the left hand. Take the right hand behind you, lengthen up, and on the exhale, we'll twist. You can even do this with your foot on the mat if you want to, or your foot raised. And then we release back down and change sides. So the opposite foot comes in and that foot stays on the mat if you want to or it can come up or we can lift it up. We grab hold of that left foot with the right hand. The left hand comes behind the buttock. Take an inhale on the exhale wheel twist. Keep the spine straight. Nice easy breathing. And then release down. Both legs long. Nice, easy breathing. Have a little bit of fun. So feet flat onto the mat. Make sure you've got nothing to behind you that you're going to fall onto. And then lift up onto the sit bones. You're going to grab hold of those feet. Draw the navel to the spine. And then lift one leg up. And bring it down. And then lift the other leg up. And bring it down. I hope you haven't rolled back. Now the secret to not rolling back is to draw the navel to the spine and keep the spine straight. Once you round your back, that's the direction you'll go. You'll go backwards. So spine is straight, navel softly drawing to the spine. Full focus, full awareness. Here we go. One leg. Ooh, those hamstrings. The other leg. Pesky hamstrings. Okay, here we go. Both legs. Draw that navel in, keep that spine strong, keep it long. Here we go. Woohoo! I hope you've not fallen back. Keep your gaze forward, navel to spine, full awareness in your yoga. Well done, guys. Feet down, knees together, all done. Lay down on your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock and roll. Take your arms out wide. So a bit more detoxing on the belly. 
Let the knees hover to the right. Don't land. You just hover. Just working into the external obliques. Back to the centre. Hover to the left. And then we'll take that nice flow to the right and to the left. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, the right we go and straighten the legs. Bring the knees back to the left, spicing it up, straight legs. Remember, stay where you are with just bent knees or spice it up if you want to. And then over we go, this is the last one. And then hug those knees and have a rock and a roll. Feet flat onto the mat. Let's take our Shavasana, some nice long legs. Separate the legs a little bit, turn the palms up to the ceiling, and just settle the body down a little bit. We really need to do this Shavasana. I know you want to roll up your mat and get on with your day, but this Shavasana is a vital part of your yoga and should not be missed. It's just bringing your body back to harmony. So bring your awareness to your belly now and just be aware maybe it's feeling a little tiny bit tighter, a little tiny bit how to work out. And I want you to also not be so hard on yourself. Okay, we have overindulged. That's what holidays are for, to overindulge. And okay, we have been resting a lot, but we need to rest. It's important for our bodies, minds, to rest. So never feel guilty about resting. So stay here for as long as you like. Just being aware of the body and how it's feeling after your nice twisting practice. I'm coming up to say goodbye to you. So thank you very much for joining me. I feel a lot um, more engaged in my abdominal area. I do hope that you do. And we'll just keep going forward on new practices and some more yoga. There's a lot of stretch videos on, on the site at the moment, so I'm moving more into yoga. Um, so please subscribe. Please let me know any comments that you have. I really love getting the comments. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.